Well, so broskies, PC Gaming Excite here, and today I'm going to be starting a new series. It, series. It's going to be called Tutorial Time, which is where I give you a tutorial, long or short, depending on what it is, on bucket servers, Minecraft default servers, or just Minecraft in general. So anyway, to kick the first episode off, a lot of you guys have been asking for permissions, so I want to show you how to use permissions. Right, the one I recommend is Permissions X, and this is going to be a tutorial about. So what you're going to do is download that. As you can see, I already have it here, so I'm not going to download it. You may have a newer version than me, you may have the same version of me. Depends on when you watch this video, but either way, it should work for every version of Minecraft or Bucket, should I say. The next thing you want to download is Essentials. So you want to click Download Essentials Core. And as you can see, I've already got it here. And like I said, it probably will be a different version too, but it still works the same. Okay, so before we do anything, you also need to get the pro uh, uh, program called Notepad++. Link will be in the description for all of these to download. So once you've got Notepad++, once you wait, well, yeah, once you've got Notepad++, what you want to do is just go into Plugins, the Plugins folder, and open up Permissions. Copy and paste all the jars into there. Close it, and do the same for Essentials, but do not add anti-build. So Control and click anti-build, and then drag everything in because you'll have an ass, you'll have a problem with anti-build, and it'll stop your building. So first off, what you want to do is run your server, so it creates all the folders. Should say a few things like files not found or creating config. So once it's done, just type stop. Stop your server. Because yeah, you're gonna have to do this while the server's down. Alright, so you wanna go to plugins. Oh look, some files have appeared. So first thing you wanna do is go into permissions X. So these should just look like little blank pieces of paper. So what you can do is right click, open. I'm not gonna do that because I've already configured mine, but you'd click open. And it should give you a uh, could not find file, would you like to open it with something else? and then you just click open with selected program so then you should get a little box like this but it will give you a load of recommended programs but you know just ignore them go straight to browse go from browse and then look for notepad plus plus you may want to type it in search here and it will look for it but yeah it should be in your program file somewhere or program files x86 depending on what version of windows you're on so what you do is go to notepad plus plus and click on the application click open always use this selected program to open this kind of file okay so now it should open like this okay so now you're thinking yay done no you're not sorry I can't help you there so the first thing you want to do is type in go sh make sure you've so click next to modify worlds at the very end make sure you can't go any further press enter go back to the beginning and type in users colon now what you do is press enter Press space twice and type in your name. So, one do can I spell my own name right? That's 2K and then colon again. Press enter again. Go back to the beginning, and then do four spaces. One, two, three, four, and then type in group colon. You want to do it is press enter again. Go back to the very beginning and do four spaces again. One, two, three, four. This time press the line which is next to the equal and zero put a space and for now we're just going to type dot 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 because you're going to fill it in afterwards All right so you get your user cell pretty simple All right so how do I add permissions to default you know I want to edit default first okay so let's start if you want to find a plugin that supports permissions uh, they should have commands in the little commands box should say permissions and most of the permissions should look a little like name dot something or something dot something you know simple but I'm going to use Essentials for now because, you know, it's the only plugin I have pretty much installed on this server. So we're just going to use Essentials. Right. So after Modify World, you want to press Enter and go back to the beginning. So your blink is at the very beginning. You want to press Space four times. One, two, three, four. Put the line in again. Space. And then the command. So we'll do Essentials. Dot, mm, I don't want to do Item. Let's do Essentials. Dot fly. So essentials dot fly okay and you do that for as many commands as you want space 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 uh, essentials dot game mode okay so that allows me to change my game mode and that will allow me to fly okay but I, I really want to set up an admin I want to be make myself admin so what we're gonna do is copy where you know the very end of your last permission Highlight it all the way up to the beginning of default, so there. 
right click, copy, press enter, go back to the beginning, and right click, paste. So now you should have made an exact copy of that one. Okay, where it says default here, rename it, sorry it's highlighted everything, but this one here where, the, where I'm like kind of highlighted there, rename that to admin, like so, or whatever you want to call yourself. Default here, change this to false, this means when people join, they'll automatically become this, and these are your permissions. So you're admin, you want permission to for every plugin, but you don't want to manually type every single one of these, okay? So you want access to all plugins without having a nice long permissions list. So what I'm going to do is just press enter, go back to the very beginning again, spaces all the way up to the line, and then you want to do is quotation mark, single quotation mark, sorry, asterisk quotation mark. And that should then give you access to every single command for every single plugin you put onto the server without having to manually type everything in. So that's how you give yourself permission to everything and um, defaults got permissions to certain ones okay so you wanna you want admin to have a cool funky name so at the end of false press enter and go back to the beginning go for in and type in prefix colon space single quotation mark mm, let's call ourselves admin space single quotation mark but that's going to be why it's going to look really boring. I want it to be red because I'm an admin. So you want to go to this website. Link will be in the description again. These are the codes you use. Oh, well, not all of them. All these down here on this side. So let's highlight. I want red, but I don't want dark red. So what I do is at the beginning of admin, type in and C. Do not put a space there or I shall have a space at the beginning. It will read the code. So just put it back like that. Right, but after the name, everything else will be red. I, I want my Minecraft name to be grey. So we'll do. So after the admin, put an and a, and don't just think, oh, I'll delete that space because I don't need it. You do need that space still. So put a space in. Okay, but I want default to have some cool as well. So do the same again. Pre fix colon single quotation mark default lol space quote mark. So, now, there you go, you set up your groups, but you want to add yourself to admin. So where we put dot dot dot, erase the dots, up to the line, so now you should be directly next to the line, put a space and type in admin. But you're thinking, oh I'm lazy, I don't want to put a capital A, I want to put a min lowercase a, well it just won't work. Whatever you've put there, must go there, it's case sensitive. Okay, but I want to add my friend as an admin as well. So we want to do just the same as what you did for your name. Two spaces, name of person, colon. Go back to the beginning, four spaces in, type in group, colon. Go back, oh crap, not that far back. Spaces again, and then line, admin. Okay, so just imagine you've got multiple groups. So I'm going to just copy and paste this and create another group called I don't know, mod, and maybe he won't have access to all commands. He'll have access to more commands than default, but not the all commands. So I'll just do that. And then what you want to do is you can either retype it again. I'll just copy and paste the bottom one. Press enter. Go back to the beginning. Right, oh, not there. Go back to the beginning. Right click. Pasted him. Make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. And then change that to mod. Okay, so there's your permissions essentially set up. You know, you do this for all your plugins and sort them all out, you know. And what you do is just hit save. Once you're done, you're done. You know, you, you can go back and edit it later on, or, you know, you can add more people to it. For default, you do not need to add people to default. It's automatic. Make sure you change any new ones after default. Make sure you change where it says default here to false. That means when they join the server, they will instantly just become admin without even asking, or, you know, applying for it. And yeah, that is essentially your permission set up. So how do I know it's working? You want to go back and simply just run your server. And then I'm going to load up, put that over there, and run Minecraft. So you're probably going to see this error in console saying, server permissions file, permission.yml, it's empty, ignoring it, just ignore the error. What it's trying to do there is load up this permissions, 
but you know it's it's not you know you're using it via a plugin so if it says that don't think oh my god permissions has not worked I've broken it comment I've broken it permissions it says it's empty it's not it just ignored the bloody server thing go to multiplayer join your server so if we remember we added ourselves as an admin so I should have access to the admin commands so hey admin zaps 2k so how do I know I have access to all commands what commands did I not give so a, a command that's not been opened up will do Hmm. We'll do essentials god. So this gives us access to the god command. But you know we didn't say it, we use the star thing. Slash God. I'm I'm now got god mode. Okay. Hmm slash god. You know you can try this for any item. Think I'm admin, I get access to all commands. Can't spell lol right. Oh well. So I get access to all commands. So how do you know permission uh, default hasn't got access to all commands? So stop your server. And if you want to make sure it hasn't, go into your server file again. Go to plugins. Permissions. Permissions. And set yourself as default. Just, just call yourself default. Or just remove yourself from this entire group completely. So there we go. Save it. So now I'm not even in this group anymore. Okay, fair enough. Only have access to fly in game mode. Okay, so multiplayer, run your server again, and then join your server. Blah blah blah. Wait for it. So now I should only have access to the fly command. Slash fly. See, I now have fly. Hey, look, I'm default lol. So you have access to the fly command, and I had access to game mode, didn't I? There we go. Nope. Nope, it doesn't work like that anymore. Uh, slash game mode creative. Look at that, I have access to creative mode now. Because I give myself commands. Okay, I'm sneaky now. I'm default and I want to give myself god. Slash god. What? I don't have access to the command. What? What the hell? Uh, slash heal. Oh god, no. And that's because you default. You don't have access to them commands, whereas admin does, unless you give them access to that command. So anyway guys, that is basically how to use permissions, okay? If you have any questions, you know, drop them in the comments, or leave a message on my website, because uh, I respond to that quite a lot. And if you really need help, then add my Skype, and links for everything will be in the description. So, yeah, that is it guys, that is how to essentially use permissions. Like I said, you need any help? Just simply leave a comment or add my Skype. You'll probably get all of me better on Skype than you will on YouTube. So that is it, guys, and I hope this tutorial helps you. So thank you for watching, and I hope you.